What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is the top 10 hottest cities in the United States. Roswell, New Mexico has heat and aliens. Oh wow. I know of Roswell, New Mexico because of the alien story. Oh, it's actually, it's actually like there was, I, I don't know uh, what it's called, but it's like, um, there's been a lot of stories, it was a long time ago. I'm going to put my head out there and just say 1976. I don't think it is that. By the way, I don't think it is it's that day. so random. I don't know why 1976 popped in my head. I've just thrown it out there just in case it's right. All right. I've not heard of Roswell since I was at school. But oh, it's like, you heard about it at school? Yeah, I heard about it at school because it's like a... Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a conspiracy. I don't know. I learned about it at school. People claim those aliens what landed there. People claim they found stuff from aliens. Whether it was true or not. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below. But no arguing. Okay. That's wow. all I know about Roswell. And apparently it's hot. Oh, well. Wow. Do you want to something else they don't know? What? We're married. Oh, we are, are we? <laughs> good, good shout. I forgot to mention that. We are married, by the way. Um, are you ready? <laughs> the top 10 hottest cities in the United States. It's warm in the UK right now. I say UK, Jersey. It's really hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So um, I imagine these places are going to be hot, though. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah, 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 but it's hot here. Just trust us, we ain't got air con. <laughs> it's warm in this room. It is so hot in this room because we've got Tom What is too. going oh on, everyone? Let's talk about places that you should never be without sunblock. The hottest cities in the United States. Wait, did you it hear that? Shouldn't be without sunblock. Take it's, only note, it. it's only a little bit. It's gone brown. Take no. Let's talk oh, about places that you should never be without sunblock. The hottest cities in the United States. If you've been following along, you know that we did the coldest cities on our last video. So that means it's time to swing to the other side of the thermometer and look at the places you sweat a bunch. If okay. you've ever passed Ooh, a fifth grade science good. class or own a globe and some common sense, you already know most of this list is going to be in the southwest and the southern states of yeah. this country. No big surprise there. But this That's list is about which cities. Wow in those states really push the mercury. Places where you hear things like, yep, but it's a dry heat, and sure, it's hot today, and my favorite, humidity so bad, I almost swam to work. Complaining about the weather is like a national people. form of small talk. It's kind of like what everyone talks about when they have really nothing to say. It's like a parachute for awkward conversations. Most of the time, those parachutes are deployed when it's hot, and that's what you talk about in hot cities. So why don't you turn on the AC and watch my top 10 hottest cities in the United States. It was 85% humidity in Jersey the day, by the way. Uh, next time it's like that, it's quite humid now, but next time it's like that, I'm using that. I almost swam to work. That's great. Yeah, okay. I absolutely love that. That's great. Please don't oh. swam. See you in a second. Number 10, Columbus, Georgia. This one I know all too well. well. Columbus okay. is right mm -hmm. outside the front gate of Fort Ooh, Benning, Georgia. Nice. Columbus is one of the hottest cities in Georgia with nearly three months out of the year experiencing days where temperatures are above 90 degrees. Three I made months. the mistake of electing to go through basic training in July in Georgia. I didn't know anything about the heat then. Every day during that summer, I felt like it was going to be my last day on earth. And as <laughs> proof of how bad a memory I have and, and what a really bad decision maker I am, two years later, they asked me who wanted to go to ranger school in Fort Benning. I stepped forward. The humidity Mistake feels like you're living in a Navajo sweat lodge in Columbus, Georgia. The rest of the year, the temperatures are around 70 degrees, so it's not terrible. But those summer months in the 90s and the humidity, it's horrible. Yeah. The hottest mm, temperature yeah. I ever recorded was in 2012 when the temperature rose to 106 degrees in Columbus, Georgia. That's mad. Wow. Like, Number nine. In our heat, I was just comp uh, comparing it to Fahrenheit the other day, and we were like only like not even 80s. Yeah. Well, if we were 80s, low 80s, and we're like, this is hot. But I think it's a bit different for us because we don't have air. We're not equipped to deal with the heat. Oh, yeah, inside so we're not equipped. So, to yeah, deal with it's it. not as hot as yeah, America. But, if you're, but if I feel you're... like it affects us as much because we don't have air con. Yeah, but if you're outside doing training, it doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter where you are. You are dead. <laughs> Shreveport, Louisiana. Shreveport is the fourth largest city in Louisiana okay. with just under 200,000 residents. The highest temperature ever recorded in Shreveport was 110 degrees, and that was in August of 1909. Thankfully, the average during the summer is not that high. However, it does hover around 95 most of the summer. Or I should say wow. a good portion of the summer. Since Louisiana is one big swamp, residents complain that when it gets hot, it smells. And when it smells and it's hot, I guess you start robbing people. At least that's what they do in Shreveport. The temperature oh, and crime rates sort of mirror each other. Kind of weird. Really? Oh, that's mad. Wow. Number eight, Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell is the city of the alleged UFO crash in 1947. Within the oh, city is 1947, the... I was so close. I was actually sat here think, thinking, imagine if it's 90s and I'm like 20 years off. But I'm 30 years off the opposite way. 
Yeah, you're not really close. No, I'm not. I'm 29 years off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the International UFO Museum and Research Center. The belief in Roswell amongst the residents is that UFOs could be related to the extreme heat the city endures every year. And that also Bigfoot and Chupacabra had something to do with the actual crash. The city sees about 98 days of over 90 degree weather, with the summer average being about 95 degrees. They had a record of 114 a degrees Fahrenheit yeah. in 1994. Now. I don't know. If you're an alien that was smart enough to drive a spaceship and travel a couple light years, don't you think you'd listen to your land nav system and avoid the ugly landscape of Roswell, New Mexico? Doesn't make sense. Why would they go there? Why wouldn't they go someplace really cool, like Hawaii? Point. I'd like Number to seven, I would... Houston, Texas. Houston is the most populated city in Texas with 2.3 million residents with the metro area holding about 6 million people. Those people see just over three months of temperatures over 90 degrees. The average high temperature during the summer months is usually around 95 degrees while the winter, the temperatures oh, stay freak. around 80. Every time I've ever been to Houston, there's like no wind, not even a light breeze. The heat mm. is stifling. That is why in my travel journal, it says never go to Houston in the summer and it's right next to don't take long showers in jail the highest temperature in the city of houston was 109 degrees in september of 2000 well we did texas in the spring it was hot it still. was hot um, it was it was humid it was humid I think it was too too hot, it was humid though. i mean it was just right for us yeah i think we could have survived much hotter than that yeah it was very stormy at the time so we managed to luckily avoid the storms but it was warm humid and it was kind of one of them that was like, this is nice, but if we'd have come back two months later, yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have been brutal. Number six, Furnace Creek, California. With a name like that, we should just give it the number one spot and probably some Gatorade. Furnace Creek has a small Gatorade. population of only 24 residents as of the 2010 24. census. So it's really not a city, but the name kind of gets them on the list anyway. It is also in the middle of Death Valley, and I can only imagine how many angry comments I would have gotten if I didn't include something from a valley with a name like Death Valley. Yeah, the small population do is due to the climate of the city. The average high during the hottest months of the year is 116 degrees, while average. during the coldest months, it only gets down to about 65 degrees. The hottest recorded temperature here was in 1913 and it was 134 degrees. The hottest ground temperature Ridiculous. was 201 degrees in July of 1972. Oh. It is possible that this was the highest natural ground temperature in the world ever. I think 24 people I don't know, maybe I'm going to say uh, I won't be staying there. I, I like the heat over cold. That's too hot. Way too hot. Why are you, why are you yeah. still there? <laughs> Things went to hell with all the dinosaurs and stuff, and, you know, maybe that was bad, but as far as we know, this is the type of place you want to move to if you, like, hate your in-laws. You know, you invite them over for dinner, and they tell you, oh, no, we'd like to, but we can't make it. Yeah, and they make excuses all the time. You never have to worry about them just showing up unexpectedly. <laughs> it's a great place if you don't like so you your in-laws and pretty much anyone. It's a great no place if come. you don't like no one. Like, yeah, so you yeah, don't want anyone showing up at your no house. Because no one's going anywhere near you. <laughs> He'll just drive straight past <laughs> and visit you, except for the suckers that already live there. Number five, San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio is the second Be biggest there. city Be in there. Texas with about 1.5 million residents. These residents experience temperatures Be above Be 90 there. degrees Cute for about outside, five though. months out of the year. They've also been inside of it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not get as hot as others on this list, but that heat sticks around. Four months and 26 days longer Didn't than Nicolas Cage's fourth Ooh, wife, to be exact. Average summer temperatures rise up to nearly 100 degrees, while the winter temperatures stay around 80. Thankfully, there's a few lakes not too far away, and San Antonio has a river running right down the middle of town. Not too sure how that water is, but it is there. San Antonio okay. has the river walk yeah, also. If you want something really cool to do, go to the San Antonio River Walk. Yeah, it's, it's kind cool. of a nice yeah, little cool. shops and restaurants and oh, river going through it and they got these little boats you can ride on. We really, little boat this too. is the only place in my life I've we're ever seen a man in a thousand dollar suit and really we felt did. sorry for him. It was we like 102 degrees and he just looked at me like he was really jealous of my shorts and t-shirt. It That's, was sad. I hope you made it. Your mum bought um was it a cowboy hat from there? No, she bought the... Oh, but that's cowboy stuff. Yeah, that was cowboy the jacket. The, yeah, that's where she got it from. That's where I got my hat from. I went to see like... Was it that one? Or was that... No, was that's it... just the entrance from the river walk. Well, but we, we went... didn't go in that entrance, did we? No, but we went in the other way. We went because we, that's where we went to sea sea life, And we met yeah. Cole? Yes. Cole, we met Cole there. Shout out to Cole. He will be in a video one day, <laughs> if you're still watching. <laughs> Ever seen a man in a thousand dollar suit and really felt sorry for him? It was like 102 degrees and he just looked Ooh, at me like suit. he was really jealous of my shorts and t-shirt. It was sad. I hope you made it. <laughs> 
Number four, Del Rio, Texas. Del Rio is a city of about 36,000 residents right on the border with Mexico. The city gets about 145 days a year of 93 degree weather. Wow. That's the type of weather that makes you mutter, when will it end? Over and over and over. The highest temperature on record is 112 degrees. Luckily, there's a reservoir that is very well guarded by the border patrol less than 20 minutes away for an easy escape for a quick dip in the reservoir. Get away from that heat. I've never been to Del Rio, but I did watch an interview once with oh, the famous nice. radio DJ Wolfman Jack. He ran a radio station directly across the Rio Grande in Mexico in the 1960s. The interviewer asked if he'd always had that gravelly voice he was famous for. He told him no. He got it in Del Rio, Texas drinking whiskey. And then he said, because that's all you can do in Del Rio, Texas, work, drink, and sweat some more. <laughs> Number three, Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas is one of the most Vegas visited cities in the man. country with just around 50 Number million three. tourists per year. Vegas is also the hottest of the most visited cities. While visiting Vegas during the summer, you can expect temperatures to be in the hundreds and stay there quite a while. Then in late fall the and winter, or as the residents like to call it, the mild summer, average temperatures drop mild down to the high summer. 70. Yeah, you don't call it a winter, you call it a mild summer. Yeah, like, what is winter? We just have a mild... That's mad. <laughs> Ooh, kind of chilly at high 70s after you've been in the hundreds for four months. The good news is casinos are very well air-conditioned, and you can stay in there and drink and gamble, and you may never even go outside and notice that it's hot. What is great about this city is the passion the locals have for what most consider a tourist destination that carries the moniker Sin City. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I made a video about Vegas. It's got over 2 million views. It's my most watched video that I've ever made. Anyway, I put that video up as a joke poking fun at a friend that was moving to Vegas from okay. Portland and We've it was just going to go on Facebook yep. but one day I decided to put it up on YouTube and it blew up I didn't do hardly any research on this video it was just done on stereotypes and stop typing I don't want to hear how you don't think I do research now I do I do plenty of research just because you don't like what I say doesn't mean it's wrong anyway <laughs> like I said the video was put up with just stereotypes and the Vegas locals lost their collective minds they went crazy on me Look that thing has thousands and thousands of comments and most of them let us know if you should check this video out by the way so it's mm. controversial but let us know and yeah it's just swimming pools everywhere but if you've got three four months of 100 degree weather you don't need to swimming pool aren't you or hate filled threats and insults it's been going on for two years but hey you know I mean it's got over two million views that never sucks anyway I'll leave a link below if you want to watch that one just remember Vegas is hot Number two, Tucson, Arizona. Tucson is about two hours south of Arizona's state capital, Phoenix. The city okay. sees about 145 days of over 90 degree weather with an average summer temperature of 100 degrees. But throughout the year, temperatures thankfully drop into the 80s to maybe 85. And you're like, whew, I may need a sweater or something. 85 degrees sweater. is still hot, but a lot better. Right I've never off. been a fan of Tucson. Maybe it's the heat or maybe it's just the city itself. As you drive around, all the stores seem to be closed down or something. It's weird. And they all seem further away from each other. Even the ones right next to each other, it seems like it's like an extra five yards to every... <laughs> it's weird. Some places <laughs> used to be chain stores that closed down. Then someone opened up the old 7-Eleven and didn't want to buy a new sign, so they got on the roof with some paint, and now they own a store called 9-Eleven, which is never a good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that happen good. before. But that's how Tucson is. Just kind of weird and in the middle of the desert. Not too far from Mexico, so, you know, it's it's Tucson. Here's a fun fact. The it's highest Tucson. temperature on record in Tucson is 117 degrees. That was from 1990. Wow. And... I'm glad it has put it out because I want you to guess where to think the hottest is. I'm going to guess... Mm, Mississippi. I don't know why. No, I'm going either California or Arizona. Well, that's probably the best guess because the hottest ones have been in my area. I'm going they? like... Yeah, that's probably best. You know, can't see, but I'm going like <laughs> where California meets Arizona right at the bottom. Yeah, I don't I'm know really why. that because I think mine was a stupid guess because everything we've had has been West Coast. Hasn't yeah, it? I'm thinking there, uh, thinking right there. Number one. Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, well, Phoenix that's good. has about 1.6 million on residents. In Almost. 2017, the city hit a record number of deaths related to heat. That year, 155 residents unfortunately died from the heat. That's up from 150 the previous year. Now, I've never understood that. It's Phoenix. You know it's going to be hot unless you're new to the area. And I mean, maybe a few of those deaths were out-of-towners, but still, you gotta know, it's Phoenix. You know, when that your skin true. starts to boil and you're sweating from your earlobes while standing still, maybe 
maybe it's time to find some shade. And it's a safe, Slurpee from 7-Eleven, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry, wait. From 9-11, and it's called a Slurpee because of fear of a lawsuit. Fall through springtime, the city usually has an average temperature of around 85 degrees. During the summer months, you should expect temperatures to be around 105 degrees through the whole summer almost. It's what? incredible. I've been to Phoenix a handful of times in the summer, and it is never a good experience. I mean, I love the people there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a heat guy, and I was miserable the whole time. I actually would not talk to people unless I was standing, like, directly in front of the air conditioner. It's weird. <laughs> Yeah, that is way too hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That was good, though. Interesting, this. Interesting. A lot of it was West Coast, pretty much. Yeah. Like, Southern West Coast, you did say that at the start. Don't know why I went Mississippi. I just have Mississippi in my head as such a hot place. Which it is. It is. Just but... not as hot as other places, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Well done for smashing it. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. So these are places we have to avoid in the summer. We yeah, can't, we can't go, go in the summer because so. we'll just be dead. Yeah, I know we can't. Especially go Archie as well, we'd hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Too hot. Mm -hmm. But we'll have aircon, so that's a bonus. Yeah, true. True, but mm, no. No. <laughs> Smash that button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. What should we do? Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace. Yeah, beautiful.